All right, so what's going on, guys? So, so here we go. We got my 2023 um, Toyota Tundra back here. Uh, one of the things that I really don't like about it, that really irks me, is when you drop the tailgate on this thing, you got to crawl into the bed. Um, now, I got the platinum version. Uh, it didn't come with the electric running boards or the electric uh, step. I really didn't think I would need the step, but when you drop this tailgate, and I'll show you in a second, it, it's a pain in the butt, man. So um, let me show you what the tilt, how it is to get in this thing. All right, so drop the tailgate down, and there's no nothing on the sides here. I mean, nothing anywhere on this truck to get up on inside this uh, tailgate. So you got. I mean, every time I when I put my bed cover on, and I'll be having another video for that too. Um, when I put my bed cover on, that was a pain in the butt because every time I had to get in and out of this thing, I had to jump up on here. Um, like I said, on the some of the, um, I guess, the additions of the Platinums and above or whatever, any I guess any of the Tundras you get, you can get um, a footstep here that's actually electric. So that when you drop tailgate, the footstep bounces out and allows you to get up on top of here. To me, I really thought that's kind of like an afterthought, but... It is a you got to have a way of getting in. I'm sure in the future somebody will be coming up with something that looks a little more integrated than what um, they that Toyotas came out with. But uh, I had to come up with something. All right, so I jumped online, hit up Amazon, and they have this kit here, which is basically a manual step and a bracket. Now the instructions are pretty good, actually. I actually I'm actually surprised. I'm a little worried because the instructions are pretty good. So basically this bracket here which is nice powder coated finish um this mounts to the hitch what is it yeah like like this it mounts to the hitch like this using the two bolts one here and one here and a nut there that goes through the hitch bottom and um this gets torqued on there and then you mount after you get that mounted you mount the actual foot mechanism to these two bolts here right so let me show you where we got to mount this thing to all right hope you guys can see this but we got one threaded hole here and then up in this corner up here I'm not sure if y'all can see that right here there's another bolt those two bolts is the ones that get done and then you have one right here on the bottom half of the hitch where that, that threaded bolt goes through all right so here's the hardware we're, that we're going to use these two bolts here and there is two different size hardware. You got the longer bolts that are for the uh, actual footstep. And then you have the shorter bolts that mount to the um, hitch. And then here's your nut right here. And all this mounts with a 14 millimeter. Ugh, all right, guys. Let's see if I can get y'all in here. I'll show you what I did. All right. So the bracket fits up in there. This bracket that holds the bumper cover kind of gets in the way, but. What I found out is I took the bolt out, the one I showed you from before, that got the nut on it. I took that out completely. That allowed me to get it into this frame rail here. So I got all the bolts started. I got one here, one here, and there's one up top. You can see that. Well, actually, you got to go through this side to get to it. So that's going to be a pain in the butt to actually tighten up, but not too bad. So let me get these tightened, and um, we'll show you how to put the step on here. Like I said, step mounts right here in these two bolt holes. All right, this top one is a bit of a pain in the butt, but I was able to get it. Basically, I was able to tighten it using the flex head snap-on wrench and the uh, what was that? The 14, 14 millimeter. Tighten up these bolts. Tighten up these low ones, and I'll torque it all down. And we'll get to the uh, get to the step. All right, so we got the 17 millimeter bolt and the two 14 millimeter bolts torqued down. Um, everything's good to go on that. It feels nice and sturdy. And uh, it is time to throw the step on there. All right, like I said, we'll use the long, the one with the shoulder on there, the long 14 millimeter bolts here. I'm gonna put this uh, through the top and have them hanging down ready to go so I can just hand tighten them up to these uh, threaded inserts. Just like that. All right, as you can see right here now, we got the bracket, got the hand tight up there. Like I said, I got to tighten them up, but everything seems to be uh, going in smooth. 
All right, so I got a hand tight for now. Just snugged all the way up. And as you can see, it's hitting the, the side, side bumper just a little bit. I don't like that. I'm gonna add some spacers to that to get that down to the right location. But, seems good. Like I'm not gonna step on it because I'm not, <laughs> it's not torqued down yet. But when you put it up, it seems to be just hitting that, that bumper right there. I mean, it's a little bit off of it, but I don't like that. So I'm gonna add a couple, couple washers underneath the, um, the bolts. So I'm gonna add a couple washers right here to uh, drop that step down just a little bit more. All right, with the spacers installed, as you can see, now I got more of a gap there, which I feel real comfortable about now. So I'm gonna hit that bumper cover there. Everything's torqued down, everything's ready to go. And um, you know, that's, that's just about it right there. And that's what it looks like when it's all tucked away. A little profile of it. Like that, you know, not bad, not bad. It looks like an afterthought, but not bad. And that's what it looks like when it's stepping out. And like I said, get this little side profile view of it. You know, it shows you how much it sticks out right there. And a uh, little side profile this way. All right, and with the tailgate down. Like that, see? You know. Ease of assembly, I would say. The instructions are pretty decent, um, so it wasn't too, you know, too bad to put in. Um, a couple of bolts are hard to get to. Medium time, it probably took me 30 minutes to put this thing on here. Um, maybe a couple more minutes longer than what it needed to be, just because I put the spaces on there because I didn't like it, you know, coming up real tight to the bumper cover. Now, if you're not worried about that, go ahead, throw it on, easy. Um, but like I said, it, like I said, 30 minutes, 45 minute job. Um, make sure you torque everything down per manufacturer um, instruction manual and uh, it's good to go. So that's it, man. Um, that's it for me today. I'll catch y'all on the next one.